Okay, <clears throat> uh, for lab 12, black body radiation, photoelectric effect, and the hydrogen atom, uh, there's gonna be three parts. There's gonna be 15 total questions, and you the handout is on the lab 12 links, and we won't be worrying about the dates. Um, question one through three, we'll be using this black body radiator link, and that'll be under the FET. You click on that and you'll bring up this simulation. And what you're gonna be doing there is varying the temperature and looking at the spectrum from short wavelength to large wavelength of the light, comparing it to visible. And this is a so-called black body radiator, meaning it's how the type of electromagnetic radiation solely due to the fact that it's a hot object. The sun is the default to about 5,800 degrees Kelvin, about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit and the peak is right in the visible spectrum. So as you raise and lower the temperature, we'll get a different spectrum. If we need to change the scale so it fits, because it gets hotter and you get more radiation, so that'll be uh, what we're looking at for the first part. So the first three questions use this simulation, which if you, click on it, you'll get it automatically, all right? Now, this one, the next, how many? Oh, one, all right. So one, two, questions four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so next seven questions, use this UNL, University of Nebraska simulation. Now, the problem is it uses flash, so you have to, so it no longer works online. But what I want to do is show you how to do it. I'm going to have to go through each part and have you answer the questions. So the four are going to be compared to total and peak for 3,000, 6,000, 12,000, 24,000 K. And then look at what is the ratio? So then using this data for questions four, five, six, and seven, right? Three K, so we double the temperature each time. What is the power ratio of the power from six to three? And what is the ratio of the power from 12 to K, 12 and 24? So we'll be comparing the power for that. So we're gonna look at the radiation peak wavelength. So I'm gonna bring this up. All right, so for questions four through seven, we're gonna be looking at the uh, peak radiation and uh, total radiation and peak radiation for 3K, 6K, 12K, and 24K. And then questions eight, nine, and 10, we'll compare each of the other three, six to three, 12 to three K, 1000K and 24. So it'd be seven questions all together. And so what I'm gonna do is again, the black body. All right, we're gonna then look at 3K. So we're gonna actually reduce this to 3000. All right, that's the lowest we can get it to. All right, our peak wavelength is at 966 nanometers. So you can see here. And our total radiation here is 4.5 million watts per meter squared. That's how much energy a 3000 um, degree, like a tungsten lamp, how much energy would actually emit if there's object one meter size. So that's the first answer. So that's for question 
four. Okay. All right, we're now gonna go up to question six. A question five, I should say, and that's 6,000 degrees. This is. Okay, 6,000 degrees. Our peak wavelength is now 483 nanometers, and it's putting out 7.35 times 10 to the seventh, or 73 million watts per meter squared. All right, notice how the peak wavelength is now, this is about the temperature of the sun, All right? Then we're gonna go up to 12,000. Okay, our peak wavelength is now down to 241.5, well into the ultraviolet. Our radiation now here is 1.18 billion watts per meter square. 1.18 billion. So that's way, here's our visible spectrum way down here, way here. So most of our radiation for an object this hot would be in the ultraviolet. And then finally we'll go all the way up to 24,000. I think that's the highest we can get, well just about. Okay, and 24,000, our peak radiation is at 120.7 nanometers, and our peak energy is now 18.8 .8 billion, or 1 billion watt, or 1.18 watts, 1.18 times 10 to 8 watts per meter squared. All right, so that's that, and then the questions, all right. The other questions relate to uh, questions eight, nine, and 10. Compare what's the ratio of power, 6K to 3K, 12K to 3K, and 24K to that K. All right, so that is for um, that. So now we're gonna go back, we're gonna do the next part and Uh, we're going to look at hydrogen energy levels, right? And and if we look at here, so let's get a little larger. We look at here. All right, what we're looking at here. Oh, that's for the last one. I'll do. Uh, I'll do 13, look at 13, 14, 15 first, and then get back, show you how the next ones work. Um, for 13, 14, uh, we're gonna look at, click on the bottom. See if we read it. All right, so this is a simulation. And so for the first one, All right, we're gonna click on the bottom one and what it is, a uh, alignment beta and this is the energy, that's what it's emitted and the energy is
Alright. So, let's try it again. Alright. So, what kind of energy we have? The energy is 271 nanometer, uh, the wavelength is 271 nanometers. That is in the ultraviolet. Energy is, all right. Next one we're gonna do, um, go back to here, I wanna do this. This is then for 14. Okay, we want to drag from the end to end, n equals one to n equals two, and fire a hydrogen amp there. So, so what we're gonna do for this one is drag it up there, and then click on the hydrogen beta. Oops. See, we got we have to have it in the right. We have to have it because this is a Balmer line, so we have to have it up here, and then hit it with a photon fast enough and all right so it emits one of 2.5 and that'll be in the visible spectrum. That'll be in the visible. Okay. Next one we're gonna do, go back to here, is, so we're going from four, end of four to two, did that now we're going to go from drag one from one through one two three and fire a passion beta oops let's get that up there and that's point nine, five to three, that's in the uh, infrared. So the first one, we had Lyman Goes from that's ultraviolet. That's question 13. If we then have starting from n equals 2, then kick it with the, that. All right, that kicks it up from 2 to 4. That'll be in the invisible. And we start at 3 and kick it with a passion. That will be in the infrared. So that'll be an in infrared for that one. So 15 will be in the infrared spectrum. All right? So that's question for questions 13, 14, 15. Uh, the last ones here are for 11 and 12. We do the photoelectric effect and Start that up and you can see how this goes and we can do is change the intensity so you click what kind of material you're using sodium or 
For the first one, we use sodium. For the second one, we use platinum. All right, so we have platinum. So for question 11, we'll be using sodium. And what we're gonna do is for this lab, we adjust the voltage to, my, to negative. And that's down here. And then start the current. Give it some light. And notice what, for minus one, what kind of, what kind of wavelength do we get to get a positive current going? And so you'll see that. So this is what we call the photoelectric effect, meaning you shine light of a particular energy, which gives enough energy to send it towards this other part, and then your reverse voltage that's trying to hold it back. So the greater the energy, the, the faster you're gonna make it and the greater. So if you have very high energy, so obviously gonna make it, if we increase the voltage, all right, what does it take to make that? So you try and do is find the minimum wavelength for it to just work, okay? So the current is just slightly above zero. All right, just the approximate. All right, so that's the photoelectric, photoelectric effect lab. And there you have it for those labs, all right?